Today we're looking at how to graph points in a coordinate plane. Remember, a coordinate plane is a two-dimensional surface that can resemble graph paper that has an x-axis and a y-axis. The x-axis runs from left to right. The y-axis runs up and down. The coordinate plane has an origin which is represented by the intersection of the x and y-axis with coordinates of 0 and 0. Let's look at this coordinate plane. Here you will see five coordinates, or ordered pairs, that we can graph together. Let's look at the first one. Let's graph 3 and 2. You always want to start with the origin, which is the intersection of the x and y axis. When moving, you always want to move either left or right first, followed by up and down. This is because the x value is always stated first in the ordered pair, the y value is second. We move to the right, 3, as it's positive. We move up, 2 as it's also positive. This point is located in quadrant 1. We place a point at the intersection of these two values and we're done. Next set, let's graph negative 3 and 2. Since the first number is negative 3, we will move 3 spaces to the left. The y value is still positive, so we move up 2 spaces. You will notice that this point is located in quadrant 2. Next example, graph the coordinates negative 2, negative 4. We move to the left two spaces because the x value is negative. y value is negative, so we move down 4. This is our point for negative 2, negative 4, and it's located in quadrant 3. Graph the coordinates positive 4, negative 2. The x value is positive, so we move back to the right four spots. The y value is negative, so we move down two spots. This point is located here in quadrant 4. Final example, graph the coordinates 2 and negative 2. We start at the origin and move two spaces to the right. We move down two spaces since the y value is negative. We place our point here and see this one is also located in quadrant 4. If you want some more practice on graphing points in the coordinate plane, check out my website at improvemath.com where I have lots of free printable worksheets with answers that you can use. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful, and don't forget to subscribe to get more free math help videos. Thank you so much for watching.